contamination of potato chips with salmonella and how we can save lives by warning consumers with a sensor in the bag we call the sensor swag. You know that potato chips are the most consumed snack food in the U.S. and constitute 40% of snack food consumption according to the Snack Food Association? To help with the preparation of our project, we met up with three different groups of scientists. We met up with scientists from UMass, Framingham State University, and the Department of Defense at Native Labs. We also use library books and the internet. Don't forget science magazines. In factories, potatoes are washed, peeled, sliced, and fried in deep hot oil. At this stage, all bacteria are killed. However, paprika and hydrolyzed vegetable protein, also known as HVP, are used to flavor the potato chips. These flavoring ingredients can be contaminated with salmonella. The CDC estimates that over 1 million people in the U.S. extract salmonella each year and that there have been over 40, 20,000 hospitalizations and 400 deaths that occur because of salmonella poisoning, according to the 2011 report. See, many factories try to keep contaminated chips away from consumers by scanning for bacteria using sophisticated techniques and expensive machines, like the biosensor. Unfortunately, sometimes the bacteria is released into markets and there is no existing solution of how to detect the bacteria after it's left the factories. The FDA recently stated that they found traces of salmonella in 2010 at a food flavoring plant in Las Vegas. And here are the lists of salmonella. And the yellow part represents the potato chips. Well, now we propose a, a new cheap and easy to implement technology that we call the sensor slide. The sensor is a paper strip that can detect the presence of bacteria, saying it's okay to eat when it's blue and not when it's red. The sensor, to understand how the sensor in the bag works, you need to know that salmonella can produce both acid and gas during the metabolism of carbohydrates. The gas is a mixture of hydrogen and carbon dioxide. <coughs> the carbon dioxide and the acid will react with the sensor swab, which is a paper strip coated with litmus and calcium hydroxide. In absence of bacteria, the sensor swab will remain blue. In presence of bacteria, it will become red because of the acid reacting with the litmus. It will also become rough and bumpy because of the production of calcium carbonate, which is a reaction between calcium hydroxide, which is on the sensor swag, and carbon dioxide, which is produced by the bacteria. We also did some chemistry experiments that demonstrate the principles of how the sensor swag works. We even got to do some microbiology experiments and visited a potato chip factory. Now please enjoy our play that presents our project in a fun and creative way. This play is posted on YouTube and our website called therobotrekkers.webs.com. We also shared this play with the parent community in our whole school. We conducted a survey and the results are shown on our poster board. Ugh, I hate science class. Keep talking about Fabadell and the safety people. Well, chill out. It's recess time. Here, have some chips. Oh, now I feel so good. Dude, what's up? Got my chips. Got my, my chips. chips. Get my chips. Get my chips. In my lips. In my mouth. In my mouth. Double throat. Double throat. 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 It's bad. It's bad. bad. But you know. I know. How did it get there? Let us see. They killed everything in our heart. Oh, I see. It must be after that. What could it be? Well, let's try the seasoning. Well, this says to the seasoning that it be saying something about hydrolyzed vegetable protein. It keeps it getting hit with salmonella, you see. This is a problem that we can't let be. So we gotta catch the bacteria before it hit the front door. So we put a sensor in the bag to check for more. Never found anything it can't ignore. It will show a red strip to the van floor. Got my chips. Got my chips. Gave my chips. Gave my chips. Got my lips. In my lips. In my mouth. In my mouth. Down my throat. Down my throat. Down my throat. Not bad. Not bad. contaminated and may cause foodborne illnesses. Well, some bags even have a texture effect. It's great for people who have vision problems. Oh. And it can be a timer seal. Guys, come on, we gotta get back to science class. Ooh. We are the yeah. Robo Trekkers, aka the Woodchucks. I work from Alhambra Academy, Shrewsbury, Massachusetts. How much wood can a woodchuck chuck? A woodchuck can chuck wood. Woo -woo!